हेलो माय व्यूअर्स आई एम मिस्टर दिलीप कुमार पाल रीडर इन पॉलिटिकल साइंस इनवाइट्स माय व्यूअर्स टू ए न्यू टाइप ऑफ वीडियो रिलेटिंग टू मल्टीपल चॉइस क्वेश्चंस रिगार्डिंग वाइस प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ इंडिया तो टूडेज वीडियो इज ए न्यू टाइप ऑफ वीडियो ऑन वाइस प्रेसिडेंट एंड दिस वीडियो रिलेट्स विथ द ट्वेंटी मल्टीपल चॉइस क्वेश्चंस रिलेटिंग टू इंडियन वाइस प्रेसिडेंट I think this video will be very much useful. Will give detailed information relating to some facts which are associated with the vice president of India. And this video, I think, it will be very much useful to. students mainly of high schools plus 2 plus 3 and those students who are appearing competitive examinations it provides a detailed informations regarding the vice president of india it gives 20 important facts relating to vice president of india which will enhance knowledge of the students okay let us start 20 multiple choice questions one by one the first question first multiple choice question relating to vice president of india is that who was the first vice president of india who was the first vice president of india choices are four number one dr jakir hussain number two boragiri venkatgiri number three dr sarve palli radhakrishnan and last one is kr narayan so choice is up to you who are the first vice president of india choices are डॉक्टर जाकिर हुसैन नंबर वन चॉइस नंबर टू बोरागिरी वेंकटगिरी नंबर टू डॉक्टर सर्वेपल्ली राधाकृष्णन नंबर थ्री एंड के आर नारायण द राइट आंसर इज डॉक्टर सर्वेपल्ली राधाकृष्णन ही वॉज द फर्स्ट वाइस प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ इंडिया ओके वेरी गुड ना विल कम टू द सेकेंड मल्टीपल चॉइस क्वेश्चन रिलेटिंग टू वाइस प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ इंडिया The question is, which article speaks? There shall be a vice president in India. Try to understand the question. Which article speaks? There shall be a vice president for India. Choices are Article sixty four, Article sixty three, Article sixty five, and Article sixty six. So the question is, which article speaks? There shall be a vice president for India. Choices are four. Number one, Article sixty four. Number two, Article sixty three. Number three, Article sixty five. And number four, Article sixty six. The right answer is Article sixty three. Article sixty three speaks. There shall be a vice president for the country. Okay, very good. Now we we'll come to the question number three. What is the minimum age? required for the office of vice president what must be the minimum age in order to become vice president of india what will be the exact age choice is 30 years number 2 32 years number 3 29 years and number 4 35 years it means in order to become vice president of india what must be the minimum age the answer is 35 years unless a person is 35 years he cannot contest for the office of vice president okay very good 
Number four, what is the salary of Vice President of India at present? At present means today's video is on 22nd May 2021. Today's date is 22nd May 2021. On today's date, what is the salary of the Vice President of India? Questions, uh, uh, multiple choices are 5 lakhs, number 2, 4 lakhs, number 3, 2 lakh 80,000, number 4, 3 lakh 50,000. It means the vice president gets how much salary? Four choices are before you. One is 5 lakh, number 2, 4 lakh, number 3, 2 lakh 80,000, and 4 one is 3 lakh 50,000. The right answer is 4 lakh or 5,600 US dollar. 5,600 US dollar. It means at present on today's date, 22nd May 2021, the Vice President of India draws a salary of 4 lakhs rupees in Indian currency or 5,600 US dollar. Okay, very good. Then come to question number five. For the office of vice president, a candidate must have qualification for the which house? It means, in order to become vice president of India, a person must have qualification of which house? Choices are Lok Sabha, number two, Rajya Sabha, number three, Legislative Council of a State, number four. Legislative Assembly of a State. It means, in order to become Vice President of India, a person must have qualification for which house? Lok Sabha or Rajya Sabha or Legislative Council of a State or Legislative Assembly of a State. The right answer is Rajya Sabha. Okay, very good. Then come to question number six. The term of Vice President is what? What is the term of vice president? Choices are six years, five years, four years, and three years. What is the term of vice president of India? Six years, five years, four years, and three years. The right answer is five years. Okay, very good. Then come to question number seven. Vice president is the Ex officio chairman of which house? Vice president of India is the ex officio chairman of which house? Choices are before you Rajya Sabha, Lok Sabha, Parliament, and State Legislative Assembly. It means vice president is the ex officio chairman of which house? He is the ex officio chairman of which house? It means, as he is the vice president, he has been given the charge of a chairman of which house? Rajya Sabha, Lok Sabha, Parliament, and fourth one is State Legislative Council. The right answer is Rajya Sabha. Okay, so we have completed uh, seven most important multiple choices. Then we'll come to then come to question number question number eight. The question is, which article says vice president acts as president in copy in case of his absence? Which article says when the president will be absent? Vice president will act like a president. Which article speaks? It means which article says in the absence of president, vice president acts as president. Article 64, number 2. Article 63, number 3. Article 66, number 4. Article 65. Right answer is Article 65. Article 65 says, Article 65 says when the president will be absent, when the president will be incapable to perform his function, 
highest president acts as the president of India. Okay, very good. Then come to question number nine. Who is the number two citizen of India? If president is the number one citizen of India, who is the number two citizen of India? Choices are Speaker of Lok Sabha, Chief Justice of Supreme Court, Vice President of India, and fourth, Attorney General of India. Who is the number two citizen of India? Choices are four. Number one, Speaker of Lok Sabha. Number two, Chief Justice of Supreme Court. Number three, Vice President of India. And number four, Attorney General of India. The right answer is Vice President of India. He is the number two citizenship citizen of our country. Then come to question number ten. Who intimates resignation of president to Speaker of Lok Sabha? It means when the president resigns, who intimates about the resignation of president to the speaker? When the president resigns, who intimates his resignation to the speaker of Lok Sabha? This is the question number 10. Choices are Attorney General of India, Vice President of India, Controller and Auditor General of India, and Vice Chairman of Rajya Sabha. When the president resigns, who intimates a resignation of president to speaker? Choices are four. Number one, Attorney General of India, Vice President of India, Controller and Auditor General of India, and Vice Chairman of Rajya Sabha. The right answer is Vice President of India. Okay? Very good. So out of 20 questions, we have already solved 10 questions. And 10 questions are left. Okay? Again, my students will continue. This is the knowledge game. Okay? Then come to question number 11. In order to remove a Vice President, a notice will be given before how many days to Rajya Sabha? If the vice president will have to be removed, a notice will have to be given to the Rajya Sabha. Before how many days? Choices are 10 days, 12 days, 14 days, and 15 days. It means when vice president when the press when the vice president will have to be removed, a notice will have to be given to the Rajya Sabha. Before how many days? It is not 10 days or 12 days or 14 days, sorry, or 15 days. It will be 14 days. Before 14 days, a notice will have to be given to the Rajya Sabha that an, impeach, an impeachment procedure is being brought to the Rajya Sabha. Okay? Now, the question of 12. After the expiration, um, expiration of the term of Vice President, Election will be held after the end of the term of Vice President. Election will be held within how many months before the end of the term of Vice President? Election will have to be held within how many months? There is a limit. How many months? Choices are 5 months, number 2, 6 months, number 3. 4 months and over 4, 3 months. Before the end of the office of the Vice President, there must be an election to fill up the post. But election will be held within how many months? 5 months, 6 months, 4 months and 3 months. The right answer is 6 months. Okay, very good. Then come to question number 13. Vice President will be removed by which members? Vice President of India will be removed by which members? Number one, members of Rajya Sabha. Number two, members of Lok Sabha. Number three, members of both Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha. And number four, members of Parliament plus state legislatures of India. 
vice president of India can be removed. There is a procedure. But who will remove? Joshua Sahar? Four. Members of Rajya Sahar? Number two. Members of Lok Sahar? Number three. Members of both Lok Sahar and Rajya Sahar? And number four. Members of both Lok Sahar and Rajya Sahar plus all the members of state legislatures of India. The right answer is only members of Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha. Only members of Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha can remove the Vice President. Then come to question number 14. Vice President of India is elected by which method? What is the name of the method by which Vice President of India is removed? Number one, second value system. Number two, cumulative voting system. Number three, list system. Number four, proportional representation by means of single transferal vote system. On the basis of which method Vice President of India is removed? Choices are four. Second ballot system. Number two, cumulative voting system. Number three, list system. And number four, proportional representation by means of single transferal vote system. The, the right answer is Right answer for the question number 14. Proportional representation by means of single transfer vote system. It means the vice president of India is elected by a system known as proportional representation by means of single transfer vote system. Then come to question number 15. The vice president tenders his resignation letter to whom? To whom the vice president gives his resignation letter? Choices are four. Speaker of Lok Sabha, number two. President of India, number three. Attorney General of India, number four. Vice Chairman of Rajya Sabha. To whom the Vice President gives his origination letter? The right answer is President of India. He gives his origination letter to the President of India. Okay? So 15 questions we have already completed. Then we will come to the question of 16. The Vice President takes oath on the basis of which article? On the basis of which article the vice president takes his oath? Choices are Article 67, number 2, Article 66, number 3, Article 69, and number 4, Article 68. The right answer is Article 69. Okay, very good. Then come to question number 17. All doubts relating to election of vice president will be decided by whom? Whenever at the time of election of vice president there will be any dispute. Who will solve it? Chosar 4. Tell me, Chosar 4. Attorney General of India? Supreme Court of India? Parliament of India? And Rajya Sabha. The right answer is Supreme Court of India. Question number 17. Supreme Court of India. Then come to question number 18. Who gives oath to the Vice President of India? Who gives oath to the Vice President of India? Choices are Chief Justice Supreme Court, President of India, Attorney General of India, and Speaker of Lok Sabha. Who gives oath to the Vice President? Chief Justice of Supreme Court, President of India, Attorney General of India, and Speaker of Lok Sabha. Right answer is 18. Speaker of uh, President of India. President of India gives oath to the Vice President. We have completed already 18 multiple choice questions. Two are left. Then question number 19. Vice President gives his resignation letter to whom? To whom the Vice President gives his resignation letter? Choices are 4. You will have to select 1. Speaker of Lok Sabha. Chief Justice of India. President of India, Prime Minister of India. The Vice President gives his resignation letter to whom? Speaker of Lok Sabha, Chief Justice of India, President of India, and Prime Minister of India. The right answer is President of India of the question number 19. Okay, then one question is left. I am sure that my students will get a lot of benefits from this multiple choice question. Last one is. 
the removal process for the vice president of India will be initiated in which house? Whenever the vice president of India will have to be removed, the initiation will have to be made from which house? Choices are four. Lok Sabha, number two. Rajya Sabha, number three. Joint session of parliament, number four. Supreme Court. So answer is Rajya Sabha. So whenever the president of in, whenever the vice president of India will have to be removed, so whenever the vice president of India will have to, will have to be removed, the initiation will have to be made in the Rajya Sabha. From the Rajya Sabha, the initiation will start. Okay, my students, I'm sure that from the from this video, which relates with 20 multiple short questions relating to vice president of India, students must have got a lot of benefits. Okay, so I have made a special video on vice president and today's video relates with the top 20 multiple choice questions relating to vice president. I am sure that my viewers will get a lot of benefits. You subscribe my channel so that in future you will get very relevant videos on your academic sphere. Thank you my students. Again we will be here in a new video. Till now, goodbye to all. Thank you.